The Razer Basilisk V3 Wireless is here now. I've already tested the Pro and the wireless is honestly that much better. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the 4-piece warranty or Wookiee Triple XL. And I've had my hands on the Razer Basilisk V3 for a couple of, well, days slash weeks now because it boasts a 285-hour battery life with a single AA battery. That's on the wireless with the LED going even, which is kind of nuts. It's using just a standard AA battery, but now it has the V3 wireless, a Hyper X speed, Uber speed wireless as well. All jokes aside, it's a really, really nice shape and I'm glad it's now available in a wireless package. So let's go through what's in the box. Well, you obviously get the mouse, you get the dongle which sits inside of the mouse, you get a, the nice Inogaza AA battery, you get yourself a very nice set of stickers, not just the one Razer sticker, but now a whole bunch of little extras over there, a nice little manual, and then of course the packaging itself. The mouse, as I said, contains that 2.4 gigahertz dongle now. It sits in the back of the mouse, which I just really like. Magnetically attached on the back, quite strong magnets, so they're not going to fall off or become cumbersome at any point. And then you obviously have your AA, which goes in over there. The idea with this being that it's a mid sort of priced wireless option with a very, very good sensor, nine programmable buttons on this sucker now. Some of the best thumb button positioning you're going to find. It's got a one all the way at the front like that, which does is a little bit of a stretch, honestly, to reach. The two thumb buttons above that, though, have almost perfect positioning. Then there's obviously one in the scroll, one on either side, and then the DPI button behind that. The scroll's also been significantly improved. I really like the way that it shines through completely now with this nice frosted finish. It shines green when it's in 2.4 and hunting for signal there. It shines blue when it's in the Bluetooth mode and hunting for signal over there. And then when it is connected, it can RGB and you can then change it all through the Razer Chroma software. Unfortunately, because of the current internet problems in South Africa, I don't have a demonstration of the software, but it's going to be pretty much the same as it is with all the other Razer Synapse products. You're going to be able to completely customize any of the mouse buttons, write macros and deploy them to the product. The bottom of the mouse is also somewhat like improved. They've kept the feet and the PTFE feet around the center hole, which I really, really like. It is uber glidey, to be very honest with you. I think you can see as I'm skitting it across the mouse pad like this, she glides. Oh, she really, really, really glides. And at 110 gram, I actually thought it was lighter than that. I was going to guess about 100. Um, for some reason, it just feels a little bit lighter than normal. And I can't help but feel it's because of these uber, uber glidey feet that it's got over here. The sensor on this, as I said, is one of their premium ones. It's a 450 IPS 40G sensor, and it's got very, very good tracking indeed. The performance in game, as you'll see from some of the clips over here, me playing Taki and some battle bit, was not what I would call an unpleasant experience. I very much enjoyed using this mouse and playing like MOBA, like Dota and that sort of stuff. The thumb buttons, as I said, felt absolutely perfect. One of the front is a little bit of a stretch. If you don't have a longer hand, you are going to struggle to reach that. And it's definitely been made for palm grips. As I grip it over here, you might notice that it fits absolutely perfectly. And I've got a 19 centimeter by 10. I've got quite wide palms. I'm very good at clapping at events. So if you need me for your event to make a lot of noise, that's what I do. Overall, at its price point of 1,400-ish, 1,500-ish Rand, it's pretty damn competitive. I like that it's actually got a replaceable battery because if you buy like a two pack rechargeables, then they'll last 285 hours. I don't know if you know, but that's like more than 10 days worth of consistent usage. If you would look at it, it's probably nearly a month worth of consistent usage. The fact that it's got Bluetooth and you can connect it to another device seamlessly just at the flick of a switch is a really, really nice to have. There are masks at this price point that, you know, are cheaper, but they've got 10,000 DPI sensors. This has got 18,000 DPI sensor. They're usually about the 350 IPS sort of range, and not many of them exceed 30G acceleration. So this is a bit more sort of pro, like entry to pro gaming at 1,500 Rand. The included battery is going to see you through quite a long time. And then if you have a set of rechargeables, well, it's just a swap out away and you're back to another 285 hours. There's never really going to be a 
a condition if you do have a rechargeable kit that you're going to be without battery life all in all i gotta give it a solid 10 out of 10 there's actually nothing that i would change on this for a change nothing i would change on this for a change there we go that was brilliant the rubber grips on the side are really really nice i do however worry over usage and time that perhaps these might wear through and then you might get a bit of sticky finger from the glue and stuff behind it we'll have to see how it goes and check forums and stuff for usage as it does go but the Basilis v3 has honestly been one of my favorite shapes from razor um, and i would say this is my second favorite mouse from them now i'm still after a death at a v3 when the price point comes down maybe we'll consider if you want something like more fps and a bit more serious i would suggest going for that but if you're a bit more in between casual gamer you don't have three grand for nearly for a mouse then this is 1500 if you like ergo some people i know like heavier mouse as well and the glide makes up for the weight considerably if you're doing like moba and a bit more rts and even some mamorpigas then this is going to fit into pretty much any gaming sphere you put it into anywho that is all i have for you on the razor basilisk v3x hyperspeed if you have enjoyed this review please do hit us up with a like and subscribe and i will see you on the flip side